Hey everyone, so from the last video, as you can see, we finished the face of our man and our hand that is on our tiger's back. We didn't quite get to finish the hair for our guy from the last video, ran out of time to do that. So today, what we'll work on is the hair for our guy and also add in the position of where our tiger and man will be with our fox and wolf so that is the plan for today hopefully depending on how long it takes to get that set up we will start on adding the next two people in this family friends picture that I am working on and you guys are following so hope you guys continue to enjoy here we go
So, I just finished the hair how I want it to look for our guy. Now for this part, this is where I was saying we will be moving the tiger and the guy to their position in the whole picture. Now the size of my image is going to stay the same. It's the picture, like what I actually did. So each layer I worked on, so for the tiger layer and the person layer is going to shrink down to fit with the fox and the wolf that I already have. So as you can see, when I pull up the wolf, it kind of overlaps. So before we do that, I need to unlock. If you are following along with me, doing the same picture, unlock the tiger image. Because if it stays locked, I would not be able to move it it would still be in that position. So you need to unlock the tiger layer. Then you need to hold control and click the person layer. And these two layers are now, whenever I use the move tool, they both move at the same time. So this way, when it, oh, I shrink it down to the size that it needs to be, I don't have to worry about the man is off position and have to recenter it with the actual tiger. So what we do here is we'll go under layer, not layer, sorry, under edit and we'll go under transform and we would hit scale. And before I hit this, I will, I would recommend you show the other two layers of the other creatures. So for example, for me, I have, I'm going to only show the wolf and fox right now the actual detail of the nails will not be seen and the nose details i'm leaving as is you just need to know exactly where you have the wolf and fox first so when we move the tiger and person guy layer to where we need it when we shrink it we could position it correctly so you see the depth of from where the wolf and fox is to where the tiger and person is. So that's when you, now that I have those two up, and if you would like, you can lock the wolf and fox layer. Uh, this time I'm not because I will be moving them around just to make sure I have them exactly where I want them. So we will go to transform and scale of course. And this is where I normally just grab top right corner since it's going to be on the left hand side of the image is where it's going to be and I would say roughly about here and if you really want to go by actual y-axis height at degrees uh, percentage and um, things like that I have the y set to 1602.24 this is my pixels and I have the X as 670.82 pixels. Um, my height, I put it, so it's about height 54.38%. Um, sorry, width, I have it back, I said it backwards. Width is 54.38 and height is 50.95. So this is where we have that and we will move it a little so to about there and I need to shrink it just a little more because we want to have the tail seam so that's where we have that so you would of course hit the check mark so it's in position so that's that now the fox and the wolf I have it a little off center. I want it to be a little bit more to the right. So what I will do is I need to show all the nails, the scars, which in this I will, what you can do and what I'm going to do, except for the nose for my wolf is merge down. So it's actually one layer as you can see. So nails and scar is now on one layer. Um, 
and I don't in this I'm not going to go any further so I will rename this as okay so we had a little glitch there um, with the recording sorry about that but here uh, I actually changed the scar nails layer calling it scar and nails instead of scar and then have a separate layer as nails I just also noticed that the nose for our fox wasn't done so I just did the fox's nose uh, off screen and so here you can see I also did while that glitch of recording happened sorry of shrinking the fox and wolf just a little bit but not too much so that it still looks like it's in front and then I moved it a little bit to the right so the foot or paw for the fox is actually more towards the edge of the paper so I did also finish the tiger and men so I'm not locking any of the layers as you see they're not merged down or anything and as I said for the fox fur and the fox I'm not merging it down like I did with the wolf yet because the two little ones that we sketched at the beginning is going to be added it's just at the end I have, haven't quite figured out where if I want two there or just one at this time so that's why I haven't merged the fox fur and fox yet so right now what we're gonna do for the end of this video hopefully depending on how much time we got left how much will be done is we'll add on a separate layer right about here's where it's gonna be the next two people two adults per se for this family and friends picture so I'm just going to hide all of these images of layers for the tiger, fox, wolf, and person so we have a clean slate and same thing we did with the tiger and wolf. I'm gonna have it on a separate, like I have a blank slate just as if I'm starting over from scratch again. So hope you guys continue to enjoy. Here we go.